Hi, I'm Sam Bosefield, CEO of Samson Sky. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. In a nutshell, we're talking today about what Morgan Stanley feels is a trillion dollar market by 2040. This is a blue ocean niche market opportunity with 34% SAGR for 10 years, something that introduces an environmentally friendly production method and material, and is exciting and fun to be part of. I don't know of anyone today who feels that regional travel shouldn't be improved. For those travelers facing the delays, cancellations, or poor connections and schedules for regional flights, it's a recurring drudgery of getting up the wee hours of the morning or traveling until nearly midnight or even early the next morning. And that is if there aren't any hiccups along the way that cause an extra day of travel. For those who choose to drive those regional trips of 200 to 500 miles, it is aware of a long drive and the potential for delays due to road construction and congested cities along the route. The Switchblade Flying Sports Car solves those problems by providing a relatively low cost form of door-to-door -door regional transportation. You keep the vehicle in your garage rather than pay a thousand per month for a hangar. From there, you drive the vehicle to the closest airport convert from ground vehicle to flight vehicle in three minutes at the push of a button and fly to the airport closest to where you want to be. Then it is a simple three minute conversion back to ground mode for the final drive to your destination. No waiting for rental cars, no hassle from the TSA, no schedule that you have to meet. Total freedom of travel, significant savings of time, and with reasonable costs involved. Many people ask, why not do this as a vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL vehicle? Isn't that the future? That is definitely a part of the future, but not for those who want to travel far and fast. If you want to go up to 500 miles at 160 mile per hour, then the switchblade is the only vehicle that can do it. If you want to go from a downtown heliport to the airport, then the VTOL is the way to go. The VTOL vehicles can only operate out of airports or heliports. They can't get to your brother's house in the suburbs or an office downtown or a special restaurant or theater. We can. The VTOL can't do what we can do, and we can't do what the VTOL can. They are different vehicles for different purposes. Our purpose is to increase the freedom and speed for regional travel and to put the fun back in travel for business or pleasure. Right now, we're building the first production vehicles for testing purposes using an improved environmentally friendly carbon parts production process that enables almost waste-free manufacturing with all carbon parts fully and easily recyclable at end of life. The plan is to build three, test them, and then use the fixtures and molds we've created to set up a medium volume production line in a new assembly plant with about 130 staff. With that, we can serve the demand we have already seen in the real world. Our marketing surveys suggest a huge market which we would love to meet by increasing the rate of production. We've spent many years dialing in a business plan that will allow for rapid growth should we be so lucky as to have that runaway hit that our marketing surveys seem to indicate. To increase our sales and expansion, we plan to introduce new technology in a series of steps that lead from where we are today to a future where we could sell completed certified vehicles that have autonomous driving and flying and that could take off and land within 100 feet. That is like landing in a Hewlett Packard parking lot or a construction site. Commercial versions of the switchblade could be used as autonomous door-to-door -door air taxi, hotshot parts delivery, executive transport, sightseeing, and many other commercial uses. To make this investment more attractive, we have reduced investor risk by having a working and flying proof of concept vehicle. In addition, we have an expanding reservation list of over 2,300 people and at least 130 people who have prepaid in advance for the earliest switchblades, and over 300 customers that have placed hard money deposits to secure a fixed delivery position. Business risks are reduced by choosing the experimental aircraft category in the FAA, which removes almost all aircraft regulation hurdles to production. On the ground, we're classed as a motorcycle federally, which has minimal regulations that are easily satisfied and seldom changed. These two factors remove the biggest business hangup that is denied earlier attempts at flying cars, having to serve two masters with two different sets of rules. While the risks are greatly reduced, this is still vehicle manufacturing. Like Tesla, this isn't an overnight success. It is, however, a mapped out series of steps 
with a team that has proven to be able to meet milestones and overcome obstacles on the path to production. Also like Tesla, it is establishing a new technology vehicle, having a positive environmental impact that brings a high level of ownership enjoyment. Can you imagine the business implication of taking the customer out to lunch in your flying car? The bottom line is a good chance to make a significant return on investment, helping to introduce environmentally friendly vehicle manufacturing and the ability to tell your children and grandchildren that you brought the world a record setting flying car. Now that is a future that I feel we will all enjoy being part of. I leave it up to you.